2nd of October 1944, the 63rd day of the Warsaw Uprising. A battle that was supposed to only last for a few days, or perhaps at most a week, has gone on for 63 days. The longest fight of any capital city throughout the Second World War. At 9pm on this day, the Polish Home Army commander signs the order to cease fire. Polish soldiers will lay down their arms over the coming days and march into captivity to a work camp, a labour camp, concentration camp, or even set free. They leave behind graves exactly like these ones, marking the fallen soldiers and comrades, their civilians, their mothers, their wives, their sisters, their daughters, their fathers, their husbands, whose souls will never leave Warsaw. Less than a thousand people remain in Warsaw. Amongst them, Władysław Spielmann, the hero of the book and film, The Pianist. Although Soviet troops reach the eastern riverbank of Warsaw, they don't enter the city until January 1945, giving the German troops stationed there plenty of time to fulfill Himmler's orders to demolish the city, street by street, building by building, brick by brick. Special squads continue to quite literally reap anything they can of any kind of value. They burn whole libraries, they steal artworks, anything that's valuable that gets stolen. And then the buildings are destroyed, blown up, burnt down, or heavily mined. The scale of the destruction is really quite incredible. By the end of the Second World War, 85% of the entire city of Warsaw would have been completely and utterly destroyed. The damage alone during the Warsaw Uprising is estimated as much as 50 billion US dollars. Over a million people have lost everything they own and their homes. And almost a quarter of a million people have been killed just in this one battle alone. This 47 meter high mound that we're now on is made up of the ruins of buildings uh, that were driven here and dumped when Warsaw was actually rebuilt. To this day, a debate remains as to whether the Warsaw Uprising was the right decision or not. And although we've touched on that subject, what we've tried to do throughout the whole of this 63 episode series is tell the story of the men, women, children who fought and died in this city. I'm incredibly grateful that the Polish Security Printing Works Fortress Foundation has been able to partner with me uh, to make this series possible. Now, although the Warsaw Uprising is one of the most extraordinary battles of the Second World War, it's also one of the least understood. And that's why we know that this series will remain for 5, 10, 15, 20 years as a testament to those people. What we've tried to do throughout the course of this is tell people the story in short, accessible format. And it's frankly been not my honor uh, to give this to you, but really I, I'm so grateful because I've learned so much about the Warsaw Uprising. And the stories that I've told throughout the course of this series have touched me very deeply. Very often I've been moved to tears by what I've felt and, and what I've heard. But now the future of this story lies in your hands. If you have been moved by what you've heard, if you've been touched by the story of people who refuse to give up, refuse to give in, who know what freedom means and are prepared to lay down their lives to defend it, then I ask you now to share this film, go back and watch the whole of this series and remember, Remember, because there are some things in life worth dying for, and nobody knows that better than the people of Warsaw. Thank you very much for watching this last episode of 63 Days of Extraordinary Courage. I'd like to thank you very, very much for joining me, and also thank very much the team at the Polish Security Printing Works, as well as Marek Iweszkiewicz and Filip Staszewski, all of you have been absolutely fantastic and I will remain forever grateful for the opportunity to share Warsaw's story with so many people. In the end, there can only be one last thing to say. Cześć i chwała, bohaterom.